Welcome to the video, everyone, and welcome back, Guilty. Thank you, Steve. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Hi, Gil. So let's show the viewers how to do a ventrogluteal intramuscular injection. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Okay. The ventral glute is a very nice area for a shallow intramuscular injection because it is relatively pain-free. There's not a lot of nerves and blood vessels going through the area. Very rarely will you have any bleeding. Um, and it does hold decent volume compared to the deltoid. Not that we really worry about volume with TRT, uh, but people often have the question. And then sometimes people come into the groups and they say, well, I'm not a bigger guy and my delts are a little bit, you know, on the, on the thinner side. Um, how long of a needle can I use? How much oil can I inject? And again, if you're breaking up your TRT into proper uh, frequency, you really are not going to have more than on the high end, half of an ML. Um, generally, you're going to have significantly less than that, maybe a quarter to, to a third of an ML uh, per injection. And believe me, your delts can handle far more than that. Now, your ventral glute can also handle a larger volume. Again, depending on the size of the individual and the, the depth of the needle, I've seen ventral glute injections, um, you know, up to three ML. So uh, it is a nice area. It is very, very easy to get to if a guy's a little bit on the larger side or uh, has some sort of a shoulder or mobility or injury issue, and they cannot reach their own delts properly, or they have weakness with one arm to inject, and they can't really alternate, or they just inject so frequently where they go left, right on the delts, and they're not able to, you know, avoid scarring over time, and they want another location, the ventral glute is really nice. It doesn't require you to twist around like a full gluteal injection, which is the upper outer quadrant of if you broke your glute into four, it's the upper outer, that is a full glute, uh, gluteus maximus injection. The ventral glute uh, hits a muscle called the gluteus medius, which is part of the, um, part of the abduction uh, mechanism of muscle groups that allows you to lift your leg out to the side. That is what the gluteus medius essentially does. It's a stabilizer as well as an uh, abductor muscle. And the way we find the ventral glute is if you are able to put your your hand, your palm down from the bottom onto your, your, your hip or your leg, and you created like a V, the front portion would end up on an area called the anterior superior iliac spine, which is just a fancy word for anterior means front in anatomy, superior means above, and then the iliac spine is just the area which is right above and to the front. And then the other finger would end up on an area called the, um, posterior iliac crest. And right in between those, you come down about an inch or so, and right in the center of that V would be the ventral gluteal or gluteus medius muscle. Um, and it does feel kind of bony when you press on it. And people say, well, when I hit my hip bone, the answer is no, I've used up to a inch and a half and you're, you're still good. So if using insulin syringes, like we like to use the 50 or 100 unit, uh, 29 or 28 gauge, uh, insulin needles. I put very little in here because uh, I, it's not exactly my dosing day today. So I didn't want to overdo it. So I did 40 milligrams of testosterone in this one, just for demonstration. We got a half inch needle. I don't know if you could see that. There you go. All right. So it's going to be very shallow. So as with any injection, you're going to start with prep, which is an alcohol wipe. And again, we're going to find the area here. All right. Here's my anterior superior iliac spine. Here's the posterior iliac crest. And then right in this area here is gonna be the glute med or ventral glute. So you're gonna start with small circles in the center, slightly go out and about. And then you wanna relax that leg by standing on the opposite leg. So the muscle is relaxed. You don't wanna kick your leg out to the side because that activates it. And then just as with any other injection, just go right in. And done. And as you could see, really nothing there. Just give it a little wipe and we're finished. So I don't have a sharps container here. So I'm just gonna recap this by putting the cap on the desk and just pushing down into the, you never wanna recap a needle with your hands. Cause if you slip, especially if you're injecting someone else, like we do in the clinic, if you slip, you run a risk of uh, 
infection. So essentially, um, never recap a, a needle, um, just discard in the sharps container. But that is literally as easy and simple as a ventriglute injection is, completely pain-free. Usually there's no blood whatsoever. So uh, there you have it. Okay, awesome Gil, thanks. Um, I'm sure we're going to get some comments once again. Don't you have to aspirate? And for the viewers that ask that question, you can go watch this video now that I will link under this one to the video on aspiration. Thanks Gil. My pleasure. All right guys, well do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization. Thanks.